Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and in this video I'll show you how to make a coffee mug in Onshape. So without further ado, let's get started. First, make sure that your workspace units are set to inches, and then start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S. And then use Shift 5 to go to the top plane. Press C to make a circle with a diameter of 3.5 inches. Then press Shift E to extrude the circle. We want to extrude it with a depth of 4 inches, and then confirm, press shift 7 to make sure that it extruded correctly. Your model should look something like this. Now go up here and click on shell. Remove the top face of this model right here with a thickness of 0.2 inches, then confirm. Now as you can see this is going to be the main part of our mug and we want to make the thickness whatever we can to make sure that the handle does not extrude past it. Now start a sketch on the right plane using shift S and then use shift 4 to go directly to the right plane. Zoom in on the top right here. Press A for a three point arc. Click up here and then click down here. Make sure that the arc does not get snap to like this. Instead we want it to be just a little bit lower and this arc should have a radius of 1.2 inches. Now we want to dimension this arc so press D for dimensioning. Click this bottom point and then click the bottom line. This, These two should be one inch apart and this point from the right plane should be or from the top plane should be 1.6 inches to the left. Now press A for another three point arc. Make this arc have similar endpoints as the last one is now and this arc should have a radius of one inch. Now press L for a line. Connect both of these arcs using a line. As for the length of this line it should be 0.2 inches. So do that for both of these endpoints. So now you have a closed image. Now to make sure both of these lines stay completely straight, we want to press V for vertical constraint. And we want to constrain both of these lines to be perfectly straight. Press D for dimensioning again. And then dimension both of these arcs to be a value of 0.2 inches apart from each other. As soon as you do that, your entire sketch should turn black, meaning that it's fully constrained. Now press D if you went out of dimensioning. If you didn't, then keep on going. And make sure that this line is also 1.6 inches from this plane right here. Now if you press and hold down right click and drag downwards, you'll see the sketch through uh, versus our shell. As you can see right here, the this, this sketch is not all, all the way through the mug. Instead, it is most of the way through. This is going to make sure that we don't accidentally go over our extrusion and it would just create more work for us later on. So, now that you have that confirmed, press Shift E to extrude this. Select on symmetric extrusion, making sure that the depth is equally con uh, distributed both directions. And for the depth, just select 0.4 inches for a nice mug like surface or handle. Now we want to flay this. So press Shift F. So we flay to, and, uh, to add these rounded edges to our design to make sure that it doesn't look nearly as severe as it would without them. Now to make the job a little bit faster, click on Faces to extrude all of the lines associated with said face. And then click on the separate lines that you can in include in your fixed left. Now we want to uh, flay this handle by a value of 0 0.05 inches and then confirm. Now we want to flay this mug, the edges of this mug right here. So press Shift F, select the inside face of this mug right here and then select this outer rim. We want this radius to be 0.1 inches. 
to make sure that it is completely round, completely smooth, so that when if we're drinking out of this mug, we our lips don't get caught on anything. So now that we've confirmed that, you have a nice coffee mug. That is perfect. Now, please remember to like and subscribe, and have a good day.